I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Light Through, episode 275, my review of Star Trek Picard, episode 2.6. And once again, there are at least three crucially important things in this excellent episode. And of course, you'll hear spoilers ahead. Number one, let's start with the most important part of this episode, and it's the very last scene of the episode, in which we see Agnes, completely under the Borg Queen's control, walking into her and our future down the fabled streets of 2024 Los Angeles. Now, you may recall that I told you a few episodes ago that I thought Picard gave in much too quickly to Agnes's urging that she merge with the Borg Queen just temporarily, I'm putting temporarily in quotes, so she could get our crew out of their fix. Now, The reason why I put temporarily in quotes is we all know all too well, and Picard knows even better, there is no such thing as temporary when it comes to merging with the Borg. At the very least, a part of whoever it is who merges with the Borg, well, They're always a part of the Borg, and the Borg is always with you. And what's happening to Agnes is far more than the very least. Now, we did see some enjoyable expressions of that in this episode 2.6. Agnes kissing Rios, Agnes singing a torch song. All of that was great to see and hear. But what comes next will no doubt be far indeed from enjoyable. Point number two. Picard gets run down by Dr. Sung. And, you know, that almost seems like small potatoes in comparison to Agnes being absorbed by the Borg. Of course, Picard's not going to die. Of course, the team agreed to let Laris's look-alike go inside Picard's mind to help him come out, and of course, she'll succeed. The only really interesting question, and it's an important question, is what she'll find in there, and in what way that will help Picard to better offer his love to the real Laris. Number three, but speaking of Sung, what exactly has he been doing all these years with these daughters of his? Creating genetic replicas of his daughter? I assume they and his current daughter are human, not android, but of course making genetic copies is a logical start to his descendant making android copies of himself. In fact, we saw evidence of that in Star Trek The Next Generation with Data. You know, I'm thinking it would be fun to see a series in which the Sungs and all their creations were the central characters. In any case, I'll see you back here next week. And I hope you enjoyed this review of Star Trek Picard 2.6. I'll be back here in the next few days with a review of the season finale of the excellent new science fiction series, Severance. I'll also be back here with the total finale of the mini-series, The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. And I'll be back here with my review of the next episode of Slow Horses. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sound, and do whatever you can to help the Ukrainians further beat those Russians who invaded their country.
The Light on Light Through Podcast. Athens, 2042 AD. She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left again into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. Paul Levinson still codes about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.